Hey guys, John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for my weekly video blog. You know, in this week's blog, I just wanted to wish each and every one of you a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope uh, that your holiday is a good one, and that you get some time to spend with uh, family and friends, uh, that you get a good meal, maybe watch a little football, watch my Detroit Lions, um, and just kind of hang out and relax. I'm uh, headed uh, to Missouri on Monday to uh, spend the holiday with my sister Susan, uh, my sister Kathy, and my brother Joe. They live out there in Springfield, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. So I, I wanted to take this time and just say Happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. Thank you for your support uh, over, over this past uh, few years with, with someone like me. You guys have been great, and I really do appreciate uh, all the support. It means a lot to me. So thank you. And if you get a chance uh, this holiday season, this Thanksgiving, uh, sit and uh, think about our troops. You know, as, as someone who has been out to sea, standing the watch on Thanksgiving and, and many holidays during my 20-year Navy career, uh, there's always somebody standing the watch for us. We never want to forget that. It's, it's quite a sacrifice that uh, men and women of, of, of our fine military make uh, to keep us f free and to keep us safe. And uh, Thanksgiving, I believe, is a very good time to sit and reflect on that. So if you're in the armed forces uh, and this gets to you in some way, thank you uh, from this old retired uh, senior chief. Thank you. And uh, I also got to say that Thanksgiving, you know, a lot of people ask me what life is like on board ship. Uh, I can tell you that Thanksgiving, you know, it's, it's a really interesting day on board, uh, on board a ship. You know, the Navy has a holiday routine, which is uh, a day on board the ship where you might get a chance to sleep in a little bit, kind of relax, watch some movies. Um, they, uh, during holiday routine and the military, they, uh, on board the ship, they uh, lessen the, the bells and the announcements that go over the PA, the 1MC, uh, so you're not woken up by uh, a bunch of bells and gongs and whistles and, and those kind of things. But also, uh, the meal, the Thanksgiving Day meal, it's, it's something to really look forward to. I mean, food on board a ship in itself is a, is a great thing. Uh, it's a great way to motivate the troops and the crew. Uh, but Thanksgiving meal especially, the Navy goes all out for this. Uh, the cooks who... On just about every day, every other day of the year, they have to uh, abide by a uh, uh, recipe card and, and, and have strict dietary guidelines. With Thanksgiving, you know those those go out the window. And these cooks, which are some, who are some some of the best cooks, I think in the country, uh, really have a chance to show that skill off. I remember many a great uh, Thanksgiving meal on board on board ships, especially uh, aircraft carriers and, and uh, the battleship that I served on, the USS Iowa and the destroyer. Great meals. These guys go all out. We're talking uh, turkey and roast beef and, and anything that you can think of uh, having it there and sitting, having a Thanksgiving meal with your friends and your shipmates and your coworkers while you're out to sea, uh, defending this great country, you know, it's, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's also a bittersweet day. Uh, I know a lot of time in, in my career where we would hope for mail call back when people used to write letters. Uh, it was, it was always a special time to, to get mail on board a ship and to hear from loved ones. Uh, now you can Skype and, and do all these things, but uh, there was a time in in my career where you, where you couldn't do that. Uh, so phone calls, 
were, were few and far between. Letters actually were few and far between with mail call. Sometimes you would go weeks without without getting a letter. So those are my memories of, of Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, so I just hope that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And uh, again, thank you for all your support. Have a great holiday, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.